morning, actually. I, I woke up, which is a good thing that you wake up. But anyway, I woke up, and there was a song, and as I was dreaming, and I woke up, and there was a song on my heart. Has anybody ever woke up singing? Okay, but this is what happened to me. And it was a song that was put into me. And it was a song, put your hand in the hand of the man that stilled the water. Boy, and that kept going through my mind. I had to go play it. And it went through my mind over and over and over again. My. So that was a song that was put into my heart. That was a song that was telling me that I needed to trust God in all oh, things. That Jesus is the answer to everything. Mm. You know, in our life, there are many songs sung in our lives. There's romantic. There's love songs. There are sad songs. And happy songs. Sorrowful songs. Up or down songs, just to name a few. I remember I used to listen to the radio, and I was walking through a store one day, and I really didn't notice what music I listened to. I just kept it on, uh, well, it was actually country music. And all of a sudden, you know, I really wasn't watching what the words was coming into my mind. And all of a sudden, I started singing this song. And the song was, sing me a song of somebody done me wrong song. <laughs> and I thought to myself, wait a minute. What did I let into my spirit? What did I let into my spirit? What was controlling my mind and function? And it was the music that was I was listening to. And with me, I can't ever remember words to songs. That's the reason why I don't hardly sing. You know, I think I don't have that bad a voice, but I don't know the words. Now, some of you disagree with it. Except one time, I was in a church, and I did sing. And man, I got up there and sang. And my voice filled the auditorium and people were leaving the back door to make room for it. But anyway, so, you know, music has a lot to do with life. You know, music is actually orchestrates our life. You know, we get things in our life and we listen to music and it has a lot of different things. Now, I've been taking a course on depression and anxiety. And one of the things that they talk about is the type of music that we listen to. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to pick on anybody's music or anything like this. But they said that like people that listen to heavy metal music will have more chances of making suicide percentage wise than other people. Uh, and that, that is very much so. And this is the thing, and this is this is statistics. It's not me just saying this. This is statistics. Nah. That people, not only that, music that does not melodious, it affects the frontal lobe of your brain. Nah. The frontal lobe. So Melodious music that is constant, that has a storyline or something that you can imagine, you know, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And so we have to understand, and I'm not knocking, there's some heavy metal groups that are Christians down that are bringing people to the Lord. Like, like a, mu a music group called Corn, And Corn is bringing a lot of people to the Lord. But they're just statistics that said the music that we listen to. It's just like I was singing that song. Somebody done me wrong song. So what was the thing in my mind? Something that I was thinking about. Something that did me wrong. 
it got my mind on other things. Well, we've been talking about the Israelites. And we were talking about how they were delivered and very miracles happened. The miracle of just Pharaoh setting them free. The miracle of Passover where their unborn children or their children didn't die. Firstborn children didn't die. And even the miracle that God left them to a different pathway. A different pathway so they wouldn't have to fight the Philistines and brought them up to the Red Sea or what it really is, the Reed Sea. And we see that that there was miracles that he took them in a different direction. And so we understand that God is a thing of miracles. Then we saw the miracles when they're being attacked and they're backed up against the Red Sea where there was no way out. Moses stretched his hand and the water parted and the men were able to walk on and women and children to walk on dry ground. But then, when Pharaoh's army and everything came, they got out there and they put the staff back in the water and they all drowned. That was a miracle. We see a lot of miracles. Now, when they crossed the Red Sea and got on the other side, it has kind of been known as Miriam's song. That's Moses' sister's song. In Exodus 15, 1 says, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously, and the horse and the rider as he's thrown into the sea. So we see that this is a song of praise, but it was a song of victory. And we need to put a new song into our lives as victory songs. Glory in the end. If we look on Exodus 15, 2, it says, The Lord is my strength and song. He's become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him a habitation. My Father God, I will exalt him. So when we look at this, God wants to put a new song in us. He wants to sing songs of victory yes. instead of songs of depression, anxiety, and defeat. Amen. He wants us to be able to sing of the victories. He wants to, us to sing that the Lord is our strength. That when we are weak, he makes us strong. Amen. He wants us to sing that when we're sick, we are healed. Yes. He wants to say that he is yes. always present, and even in presence of danger. <coughs> that he Amen. wants us to sing these songs. He wants to put it into our heart. That melody in our heart that orchestrates our day. Mm. When we come to the word orchestrate, it means to agree with symphony, uh, symphony of agreement. Mm -hmm. So when we have symphony of agreement, it's just like a conductor will have. We got the bass players over here, and we got the woodwinds over here, and we got the percussions over here. But then when they all come together, it's agreement. So what he wants to put a new song in our hearts that will come in agreement with him that he has something for us. Amen. He wants our hearts to become melodious. He wants us to be able where he can listen and tell a story in our belief system. So we see that we have a new song that says that he says that we can sing that as they said that he has become our salvation. Amen. Not only us believing in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and making him the Lord of our life, but he is consistently saving us day by day. Right. That we can sing Hosanna to him. That we beseech him that he has delivered us. Yes. 
and that he is saving us through the trials and tribulations of the Praise day. God. So we have to understand that he's putting that song in our heart, that we can sing of our salvation, the sing of what he has brought us through, that we do not have to sit and wallow in it anymore. That he's taken us out of that miry pit, that clay. Oh, he taken us and set our feet on holy ground. He has set us to go forward, that he is our salvation. That it should, we should have a song that say that we thank you, God, that you are that awesome God. You are my God. You are my strength. Mm. You are my deliverer. You are my righteousness. Yes. That you're always present. That you are my shepherd. That we yes. just revere him and show reverence to him mm. and stand in awe of who he is. Then he says, they said in that verse, I will play, prepare him an habitation. Mm. That means that that song that is in our heart is yeah. into us, that new song that is in our heart, that is put in us, that we are the holy temple. Yes. That in our mind, will, and emotions is a dwelling place mm. of God Almighty and yes. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our hope of glory. Thank you, Father. We see that we put him in there, that we become that living temple. That living temple. Mm. It says in Psalms 96, 1, it says, O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Mm. And it's time that we need to sing a new song in our lives. Mm. Sing a new song that is not critical. Sing a new song that doesn't look at defeat. Sing a song that is uplifting. Sing a song that is edifying. Sing a song, but a new song. A new song, a different song than when we came in today. A new song that we're no longer self-centered. That a new song we sing unto the Lord and that the, all, all the earth shall hear it. Verse 2, it says, Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Bless his holy name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Show his salvation from day to day. Show how he has delivered you from what happened yesterday and what's happened today. He is constantly delivering you from yourself. Constantly delivering you from the wiles and schemes of the devil. Constantly delivering you yes. from being self-critical. Yes. Constantly delivering you from self-talk. Yes. Constantly delivering you from things that are putting you down. You, Constantly delivering you from depression and anxiety. Constantly delivering you from hopelessness. Oh, but from day to day, yes. constantly yes. delivering you. Amen. That from day to day, you begin with a new salvation. Amen. A new salvation. That every day that you're renewing your mind, that you're renewing your heart, you're renewing because you're putting a new song in yourself. Yes. And you're singing this new song. When things start getting you down or somebody agitates you or somebody this, you'll say, wait a minute. I'm not going to let them sing their songs into my life. My. I'm going to sing the new song that God has planted in me. So we see that he says that let's show forth his salvation from day to day. Verse 3, 96.3 says, Declare glory upon the heathens, his wonders among all the people. As we carry ourselves, as the song in our steps, as our walk, as we walk melodious and we walk with rhythm with God, as we receive our marching orders, that as we march and we go forth, that we are singing a song that the world will see that we are different. Yes. That he'll see a new song in us. Yes. Psalms 40 and 3 says, He has put a new song in my mouth. Boy. A new song in my mouth. Mm. We have to watch our mouth. We have to watch what is said. 
Because sometimes we are speaking defeat. We're speaking misery. We speak judgment. We speak critical. We know the mouth is the, says in James it's the hardest thing to tame. It's like it's loose on both ends and lags in the middle, wags in the middle. So we have to watch what we say. We have to watch what we say about other people and about ourselves. Because the way we sing in our life is how people are going to judge us. How they see us. It says, He has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto God. When things start bothering you or you're in pain, you start to praise. You start to praise God and you praise Him in the song and you praise Him in the Spirit. And you start praising Him. It's just like I've written and I, I wrote something this week about how Pain and praise cannot be in the body at the same time. Lord. Then I had a woman write me back and said, Thank you, Skip, because I'm in pain day by day. But when I'm in worship and praise and people don't understand, that pain goes away. Thank he you, says, God. Thank you for just Boy. let me mm. be able to have that testimony tell you. So we see that he says that many shall see that new song that you're singing. That new song, that, that way of life that you're living. Whoa. They will see in fear. That means they'll come in awe and reverence of God. Mm. And then they shall trust God. Mm. And they shall trust God. As I said, as I began, there are many songs sung in life. Romantic, love, Sad, sad, happy, sorrowful, up and down songs, just to name a few. But our life is a melody. Our life, the way we live, is what's going to show other people. They orchestrate our life. And do what kind of agreement do we come into? Do we come in the simply agreement with God and what he wants for us to have? Mm. What he has ordained us to have? Uh, or are we just singing the songs that get us down in life? That gets us where we get mistrust. Mm. God wants to put a new song in our mouths. A song of praise. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that praise has much more to do with it than condemnation. Nah. A song of praise. That's the reason why we need to, everybody that he likes to be praised. Mm. Nobody likes to be told that you're a scum sucking hog. Because <laughs> you've been wallowing in sin. Mm. Nobody likes that. But we, when we learn and praise and appreciate people, and we see that he is putting a new song of praise in our life. Mm. And when we put this new song, and this is the thing, that we need to wake up every morning and say, Lord, put a new song in my life. Lord. Put a new song and give me a direction. Yes. So that people will yes. see Thank you. this newest song. So, how it's affecting my life. Yes, Lord. And when they see this, that when they see this new song, which is Jesus in us, yes, Lord. and the hope of glory, yes, amen. as a result, many people will be touched. Lord. How many people like to be around critical, grumpy people? I don't. So we have to understand, Lord, I might have been grumpy yesterday. I might have been feeling bad yesterday, and I'm not giving that as an excuse. Maybe some people are getting on my last nerves. But Lord, those people might be my assignment. 
And I want to sing a new song towards them. Oh, boy. Yeah. A new song of hope. Yes. A new song of joy. Yes. A new song. Mm. So when people put see that as we walk with a different beat, mm. not as the beat of the world, My. but with the rhythm of the gospel mm. and the Holy Spirit directing our lives, My. that we will be able to to touch many people. Praise God. Mm. And many will trust God. Yes, amen. And when we learn to sing a new song, that means that's going to be a gathering of a choir that we can come into agreement. Yes. Not only to walk together, mm. but to sing together. Amen. With the new song. Yes. So God has put a new song in our lives. Yes. But every day we need to wake up. Just like Miriam and Moses, <coughs> they sung of the victory yes. that they overcome. Praise God. We need to start singing songs that praises the God for what he has done for us. Amen. And start singing that new song. Not only to help you to get out of the mully grubs, our depression, our anxiety, yeah. mm -hmm. but also to be able to sing a new song that our life will be productive. Oh, Lord, yes. Yeah. Our life will be productive. That we can have that orchestra Amen. With that sympathy of agreement with other people, they'll join us together to sing a yes. complete chorus of praise and victory mm -hmm. in each one's life. Thank you. So, what am I saying? <coughs> Pray every day that the Lord will put a new song in your life. A total new song in your life. Daily. Learn to praise. Learn to praise. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. That every day that we wake up, that we can renew our minds. Father, that we can just start over every day. Yes. And Father, help us not to drag in things that are from the past. Yes. But put a new song in our heart. That we will have victory and that we will have direction. And Father, that we will go forth. Yes. Go forth. That with that new song, not only it will build us up, but it will build other people up. Not only it will edify us, but it will edify other people. Yes, thank you. And that this new song in our life will exhort people mm. to come to Jesus oh, thank you, as their Lord and Savior. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you mm. that you are able to put a new song in our mouth, a song of praise, a song of blessings, a song of appreciation, and mainly a song of love for one another. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen.